Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to backup Azure Virtual Machine to Recovery Service Vault. So basically Recovery Service Vault is a, um, is a container where you can create a backup of and schedule your uh, backup of your virtual machines which is running on Azure on, uh, on a cloud, Azure also that is running on your on-prem like your hosted data center anywhere. So so basically we are going to create a recovery service vault and then we are going to configure and reschedule the schedule the backup uh, policy and start the backup backing up the servers and virtual machines there so we'll see how it's going to work so basically you can see here we can what we can do uh, we have a creative VM and VM can be a like virtual machine on Azure or Linux or Windows anything and then we we are going to uh, uh, restore or uh, store the backup on a recovery service vault. Whenever we want to recover it, we can recover the disk. We can uh, plus template, and we can also have a uh, uh, way we, uh, we by which we can instantly recover uh, independent file or folder. So. The Microsoft uh, Recovery Service Vault provide a different type of uh, mechanism to backup and to restore. So I'm going to c create one Recovery Service Vault in this video and going to schedule a, a full virtual machine backup to that Recovery Service Vault, and we'll see how it's going on. So here's the step-by-step -step enable virtual machine backup. So the first uh, task which we need to create, uh, we need to create a Recovery Service Vault for a back for a VM. So I have logged in in my um, Azure console. You can see if I go here, click on all resources. You can see I have one virtual machine here called uh, Azure Zero One for which I am going to schedule the backup. So the first thing I need to create a recovery service vault, and this is step you can see create a recovery service vault. So I'm going to create a recovery service vault. So I'm going to click on dashboard or you can go to all the services and you can see here on a storage we have a recovery service vault which is going to store a backup so you can see no recovery service vault to display so I'm going to create one so click on create recovery service vault and you can see it's simply asking the name so I'm going to click RSV for VM backup or you can say backup and here you can see my resource type I have selected and the location I'm going to select central US and click on create so it's going to create our recovery service vault here so it's going to take few seconds to create a recovery service vault for us so now you can see the deployment in progress and you can go here and see what's going on and with the deployment so you can see the status it's deploying right now so deployment succeeded now you can go to resource so I am on the RS for VM backup RSV so you can see the here we have everything enabled which is related to this is the property of our backup so this is basically a dashboard of the our recovery service vault where you can see we can um, click on plus to add a backup item rec replicate delete everything is there so you can see users backup item is currently zero so cloud lsr local is zero ge geographical is zero so everything is zero so it's good to have uh, this type of um, dashboard here so I'm going to uh, go go through this all the um all the important like uh, things which we can do so the uh, properties if you go to properties you can see all the details which we have like a resource group the trial the subscription name uh, and uh, you can download the recovery service agent from here if you want to create a uh, install recovery agent on any windows machine or client so can download it from here and if I go to backup 
you can see what we can take the backup workload running where is your workload running means where is your uh, things which you want to backup so we have azure and we have on-prem so if i select azure you can see what type of backup we can do virtual machine and azure file share so we can take the backup of virtual machine and file set if i'm going to select the on-prem what we have we can take the backup of these all items like file and folders, Hyper-V virtual machine, VMware virtual machine, Microsoft SQL Server, SharePoint, Exchange, System Center and a bare metal recovery also. So this all the options for the on-prem. So I'm going to select Azure or here you can see the virtual machine type backup and we can schedule the backup from here. So what I'm going to do now set the storage replication. So for the storage replication we need to go to the oops we need to go to the just wait for a second let's open it I need to go to the backup infrastructure where we have a option where we can see the storage uh, backup configuration so currently it's on geo redundant you can go to locally redundant to save the um, like uh, pricing so it's going to be a cheaper when we are going to save the backup locally only so locally redundant so it's good so now it's locally redundant uh, also you can see the storage account which is going to use to uh, store the data so no protected server found so this is all item we can you can explore um, like to see what all these option and what how we can see like backup reports jobs jobs whenever any jobs is there it's going to say us like which type of jobs is running so we can do it from here and next we have an important thing which is next part to configure as set the backup policy so backup policy is ba basically going to say what we have a um, um, backup type and when we are going to run it so I'm going to run it on like on an every day call it 9 p.m. and I'm going to set the time zone so I'm going to set my Indian time zone here so it's done and now how how much you want to retain retain the backup so I'm going to keep the a daily return retention policy for 30 days and you can say the weekly retention on a Sunday and for like you can say 10 for 10 weeks and retention for the month I'm going to say like every you can say the day on every uh, last date of the month and I'm going to say for the 10 month and for years we have also so I'm going to say like December and the last date and I'm going to run on every Sunday is fine so we are going to have a 10 years backup also you can select the this uh, if you want so on a December every December on last date for 10 years so we need to uncheck this so we have a um, this backup policy and I'm going to save this backup policy so you can always um, like uh, um, it's not the way like you have set the backup policy for one time and you are not be able to change it so whenever you need you can come to here and you can change your backup policy to schedule more accurate as per your requirement so I'm going to save this settings so you can see now update in progress so it's submitting deployment so it's going to take some time to get these setting uh, like applied on this um, recovery vault now you can see successfully updated the backup policy so we are good to know that now I'm going to close this and now you can easily go on uh, to schedule a backup you can go easily to virtual machine which is running and you can see what's going on here and the mach if you go to backup you can see the enable backup and the policy and you can just click on the recovery service vault which recovery vault view have and if you have multiple recovery vault you can select that 
and you can select the policy from here and you can enable the backup from here one click and also if you want to go to recover uh, like enable the backup from the uh, enable the, if you want to enable a multiple virtual machine backup at a single time you can go to your uh, recovery service vault and go to the backup items you can see for now it's we don't have anything to backup so to backup anything you can go here and backup items Azure virtual machine you can click on add and it's going to say you what you want to take the backup so Azure and Azure virtual machines so if I click on backup you can see the uh, policy option where you can select the existing policy if you want to create a new policy you can go ahead and create new policy so I'm going with the default policy which we have modified click OK and now it's going to show you all the virtual machine which you have on your subscription and whatever virtual machine you want to enable with this backup uh, recovery vault you can go ahead and enable so I'm going to enable for this machine only so you can see things looks good I'm going to click on enable backup so now you can see submitting deployment and it's going to submit the deployment and after a few minutes you are going to see the backup job here so, so loading the backup job you can see for now we don't have any backup job here so once the deployment is complete you are going to have a backup um, configuration there on a deployment so we have to wait for a few minutes here to get this reflected in our jobs so you can see backup item still we don't have any backup item here so I'm just waiting to get this finished then we can go and refresh the screen and we can see the backup option there so now you can see deployment succeeded and also you can see backup item we have one backup item here so we are good to know that and, and now if I go to jobs and backup jobs you can see here the backup configuration is completed so we are good to know that the backup is uh, configuration is completed for this virtual machine so now this machine is getting backed up by Azure backup in this recovery world now if you want to initiate the backup right now you can go ahead and initiate it however if on a next backup schedule it's automatically going to uh, start the schedule on a schedule backup so if you want to schedule a run backup now you can go here and click on backup now and you can say the retain name till like when it's going to retain so I want to retain this for one month otherwise you can modify the date by when you want to retain this so click OK so you can see triggering backup for Azure 01 so it's going to trigger the backup for this Azure 01 machine and once it's completed we can see always go and see on um, this recovery world the status of the virtual machine backup of uh, status of the virtual machine backup which is going to run so now you can see it's going to run in Azure backup as started and in progress so it's going to take in it uh, backup is going to happen in two uh, two step the first step it's going to uh, create the snapshot of this virtual machine and then it's going to transfer that snapshot to the vault to the recovery vault so so this is all how we can schedule a backup of the Azure virtual machine to the recovery service vault and in next video I'm going to um, like uh, uh, show you how to how you can restore the backup from this Azure, uh, from the Azure uh, uh, recovery service vault for the virtual machine so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this you can post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye